It's me, John Miller, the Osteopath. Um, I've got a few pieces of equipment with me here. I've got a band and I've got a little one kilogram dumbbell that belongs to my wife. We're going to use these to enhance the thread the needle exercise. We want to try to engage the muscles a bit more of the shoulder girdles, so the pectorals, the rear delts and the rhomboids. We're going to start with the band, okay, because that's an easy one to do. So assume the position on all fours. You're going to take the band, place the band on the floor, put your weight, put your weight into that, okay? Now when we do this, you want to put a little bit more forward lean through the arm, okay? Rather than just weight bearing on all three limbs equally because we want to engage the pec as we go down. Because what you've just said is you've got the thread the needle exercise like this, is you've got a one arm press up like that, okay? Now, with the other hand, you're going to grab hold of the band somewhere there, so there's a, bit, a little bit of tension, but not too much. And as you go through, you won't get much tension at all. But don't worry, bend the elbow first, go through the hole, hold the tummy tight, come back up again. As you come back up, bring the hand to the side of your head, and twist and rotate your body like so. And this position here, you're engaging your rear deltoid, and you're working the, um, the infraspinatus and teres minor muscles of the rotator cuff, which is situated here. So it's a really good injury prevention, okay? Now, you can do this also with a weight, if you prefer, to make it for a slightly different feel. I, I like using the bands, especially as I'm twisting the other way, because you get a really nice contraction through the back of the shoulder. Let's do that one more time so you can see that. So bend your elbow thread the needle, squeeze the pack, come back up again, keep it tummy tight as you go, bring the arm up to the side, twist it there like so, Hold in that position and release. Come back down through the needle, keep the tummy tight, a nice stretch in the middle back, come back the other way, twist and hold and release. And you can do that for about five to 10 reps or however many you feel is appropriate. I like to do these slowly because if you do them quickly, you're probably gonna do them incorrectly and you're gonna hurt yourself. So it's, it's not so much about how much weight you can lift, it's about feeling the motion Okay, and these exercises are really good, especially if you're training things like chest and back, because it does help to put a bit of middle back rotation through your spine. So you can do this before and after, so almost recalibrate your body, because you know what it's like, you do a lot of chest presses, the, che the chest feels tight, your mid back feels tight, and you lose your mobility in your rotation. This is gonna reestablish that, especially if you're like me, and you think, oh, I, I don't wanna do loads and loads of stretches and boring exercises. This is one of those few exercises you can do afterwards just to open things up, just to make sure the shoulders are sitting correctly in place. Now, let's try it with a, a little free weight. So here's the one kilogram dumbbell. We'll do it again. I'll do it from this side first. Again, same kind of thing, tummy tight. Take the dumbbell in your hand, bend your elbow, put the weight into, your, into the arm so you can feel your chest engaging. Put the arm through to the other side, like so. Now, as you're doing this one here, you're actually squeezing the pec to keep the weight off the ground. So, as you can see, I'm not touching the ground, I'm above the ground. I get a really nice contraction. You can hold this for quite a period of time if you really want to, to get that isometric contraction on the pec, uh, or on both sides, I should say, actually. So this is really well done for up to 30 seconds if you wish to go for that long. Okay, some people just like to do a 10 second hold. Come back up again, and then as we do with the band, place the hand behind the head like so, twist and rotate the other side, squeezing as we go, and coming back down again, bending the elbow, threading the needle, keeping the pec engaged by keeping the weight off the ground, keeping the tummy tight, and putting pressure through this hand here, so your pec is engaged on the other side, and come back up again, place the hand behind the head, and twist and rotate to the other side and come back down again. Let's do it again on the other side so you can see it from the other one. Take the weight, bend the elbow, put the weight into this arm here, twist, get a nice stretch of your thorax, keep the tummy tight of course, come back up again. As you come back up again, place the hand behind or to the side of your head and rotate to face me, keeping the core tight the whole time, really squeeze up there and release and come back down again. And there we go, that is your little exercise. Now please do this with extreme caution. I use a one kilogram weight, it's not a lot of weight, but you will feel it if you do. It's the kind of thing you want to do gradually. Do not force this. If you start putting heavy weights in, you're gonna to start to feel it in other parts of your body, like your lower back. 
and your lower back will not appreciate it. Make sure you can do thread the needle properly and you've done it for a few weeks without any weight before you even think about attempting this. And ideally this should be done under instruction by someone in your gym. Uh, and I, so I'm not gonna take any responsibility for anyone who does anything silly uh, without correct instruction. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Do take care. Proceed with caution as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.